Hello students and welcome to our next video here on calculus. We're going to leave exponentials behind for now and move back to trigonometry. We're going to start that with uh, an introduction to radians. Right? Radians are a different way of measuring angles as opposed to degrees. Now for the time being all we really need to know is that there are two pi radians to a revolution. So instead of 360 degrees, two pi radians. I do have uh, a bit of a table here. Let's just skip down with some standard conversions, if you like. Now, something of note, radians aren't a unit as such, but a ratio. So they don't have units. We don't uh, have a little symbol like degrees afterwards. They're just radians. Uh, but we do tend to use that language so that uh, we understand what we're talking about. We're talking about an angle. To convert degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. And to convert radians to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi. A few there to refer to. It's fairly important. We will be using these a lot uh, to remember a few of those. Right. Certainly 0 is easy. And 360 degrees, 2 pi radian. Straight angle is pi radians. Uh, a right angle, pi over 2. Uh, 30, 45, 60 degrees. Pretty helpful as well. And from there, you can just sort of add and subtract them. Should be enough. So, a couple of quite simple and short examples here. Convert 405 degrees to radians. Well, what we want to do is, okay, our conversion is uh, multiplied by pi over 180. Uh, and the 405 and the 180 will have a common factor of 45. If I cancel those out, I'll get 9 pi over 4. If I did it on my calculator, let's have a look here. I'm not going to use the pi. I'm just going to go. 405 over 180 equals, and there we go, that's my 9 pi over 4. Uh, another example here, convert 5 pi on 3 to degrees, right, 5 pi on 3 to degrees, our conversion this time is to multiply by 180 over pi. Now, cancelling that fraction there, 3 goes into 180 60 times. Uh, and the pies will cancel out, so I'll have 5 60s, 300. Right here, as easy as that. And really, that's all we need to be doing for the time being. Right? This introduction to radians, it's enough to know those conversions, multiply by pi over 180 to convert to radians, and multiply by 180 over pi to convert from radians to degrees. Okay, uh, just one more time, there are those things. Next up, solving trigonometric equations. If you've got any questions, you know what to do. Make sure you jot them down so you don't forget. I'll see you in class.